What is up all my geeks and gamers, TechGeek1019 here, coming at you with another Forge modding tutorial. Today we are continuing with the Dimension tutorial. Last time we left off, we actually created our portal block, but now we need to create our actual teleporter so that we can go into the other world. Um, and it creates the portals and stuff like that. So let's get right to it. Um, to begin, we have to create something actually up here. And it is a uh, private final um, world server. And it's called world server instance. Okay, it's instance. Instance. There you go. Uh, world server instance. Um, and we're going to put that in here. And that's going to be this dot world server instance equals world server oops server so basically what this is is this is the server that all of the data uh, of the world is going to be stored on um we're also going to create another private uh final and it's going to be a random okay um and inside of here we're going to have this dot random equals new random um and this is going to be world server dot get seed and this is going to basically be saying it's going to get a random seed uh when we go through the portal okay first method we have i don't know why i have this much space in here first method we have is public uh, void place it in portal uh, and this is going to have an entity entity uh, double par two double par four uh, and double par six and double uh no not double float par eight okay this is obviously going to place you in a portal uh and it is also going to create one if it needs to so the first thing we're going to do is if this dot world server instance dot provider dot dimension id uh, does not equal one, which is the nether. Um, and if this does not, is not, uh, place entity in existing portal entity two, four, six, eight, uh, then we are going to make the portal for the entity. And we are, or we are going to place you in an existing portal at these parameters. Okay. So that is what we have here. Okay. Uh, two things outside of this. We are going to have an else. And this else is going to say int i is going to equal uh, math helper. Uh, dot floor double and it is going to be our entity dot position x so integer i is going to be the entity's position let me copy that j is going to be our y position and k is going to be our z position uh, this is actually going to be our y minus 1 for some reason. don't actually know why. That's weird. Um, we're also going to have some bytes. That is b0. And it's going to equal 1. Oops. 1. Uh, and we're also going to have bytes. What am I doing? 
uh, byte um, b1, and it is going to also equal zero. Um, not also, it is going to equal zero. Okay. And down here we're gonna have a for loop, uh, and it's going to be for integer l um, equaling negative two. Um, and L is less than or equal to two and uh, plus plus L. Okay, and then another one for integer I one equal to negative two L less than or equal to negative or to two. Not L, I one. Um, and plus plus I one and four integer J one equaling negative one J being less than three. I always do that. <laughs> uh, and plus plus J one. We're going to have integer K one equal to i, which is our zx position, plus i1 um, times byte 0 plus uh, l times byte 1 integer l2 uh, or l1, my bad, is going to equal uh, j plus j1 and integer i2 is going to equal k plus i1 times uh, b1 minus l times byte 0. And there you go. We're going to have a flag that is equal to j1 less than uh, 0 which is always going to happen uh, since j1 is negative 1, which is less than 0. Um, and then we're going to have this dot world server instance dot set block um, k1, l1, and i2. Uh, and if the flag happens, then we're going to have uh, our surrounding thing, which was our or, uh, replacing air. So it is going to place down our portal blocks, obviously. Okay. Down here, we're going to have entity uh, dot set location and angles. Um, and we're going to make a double of I, um, a double of J, oops, a double of K, uh, and also we're going to have the Entity rotation, uh, and we're going to do 0 0.0f. Oops. Okay. Uh, so that's setting uh, the where he's going to end up on the x, y, and z, as well as his rotation. Um, and then we're going to have uh, the motion on the x, which is going to be equal to uh, the motion on the Y, which is going to be equal to the motion, um, on the Z, which is all going to be equal to zero. Because you don't move when you create a portal. You don't move when you are in the portal. You just stay still. Okay? Um, alrighty. So looking good there. Okay. So we're done with that method for now. 
Uh, not for now. We are actually done with that method right there. Um, okay, so our next method is going to be a public boolean place in oops, existing portal. And it is going to actually contain the same parameters as this one. So I'm just going to copy paste so that I don't have to do that. Okay. Nice. All right. Um, okay. Um, this is going to put the player uh, in a portal if it already exists. So this is going to tell stuff um, like where to put it basically. Um, so we're going to create a short that is going to be 128 because that is the building height of Minecraft. Um, we're going to have a double that is D3 and is going to be equal to negative 1. Um, we're going to have an integer i that is going to be equal to 0. We're going to have an integer j that is going to be equal to 0. We are going to have an integer k that is going to be equal to 0. Um, we are going to have an integer L that is going to be equal to um, another one of these, which is the position of the X. Um, let's see. We are going to have uh, yet another one. integer i1 that is going to be the z position and then we're going to have a long uh, j1 that is going to equal a uh, chunk chord int pair dot chunk that and l and i1 so this is um, this long is the um, the uh what's it called the x and z chunk that is going to want to check for in a little bit um we're gonna have a double that's d7 not eight seven and we're going to have an integer that is l3 all of these will come into play in a little bit now before we move on in this method we are actually going to have to go up to the top here uh, and go out here, and we need another private final, except this is going to be a long hash map, uh, and this is going to have destination uh, coordinate cache, and this is going to equal a new long hash map. Okay, um, and basically what this is is it's for storing uh, existing portal locations so that the game can quickly go like, oh, uh, the player is here and there is, oh look, a portal right here. So let's put him in that portal. So that's what that's gonna be used for. We're also going to have another private final um, list. And there's gonna be destination uh, coordinate keys. There's going to be a new uh, array list. Okay. Right, import that. And it's uh, this one. Yeah, that one. Um, I think it's that one. Let me make sure. Yep. Um, and this is what basically this is is this is the list of coordinates um, for the portals. Um, okay. Uh, so the next thing is an if statement, and it is if this dot destination coordinate cache dot contains item j1, which was our long that we created before, uh, which was the x and z coordinates, uh, then d3 is going to equal 0, which I believe it equaled negative 1 before. Um... And then we're going to have i equal to the position. Oh, wait, no. Whoops, I forgot to set something um, before d3, actually. It's going to be teleporter 
sapphire. Uh, dot portal position, which is a new thing called portal position, which is going to be equal to, um, this is the teleporter, uh, dot portal position. Um, and what is this is going to be? Is this going to be this dot destination coordinate cache? dot get value by key and the key is j1 which is the x and the z so this is going to find our portal position on the x and z coordinates um we're going to set d3 equal to 0, 0.0 we are going to set now i is going to equal our position uh on the x um, J is now actually going to be the portal position on the Y, and K is going to be the portal position on the Z. Um, and then we're going to have portal position, uh, dot last time, update time, and it's going to equal this dot world server instance. And it is going to get to the total world time. So uh, it's just going to check the time uh, and make sure that it is the same time. Um, and then we're going to have a flag that is going to equal false. So when later we can check for a flag. What's wrong? Create local variable flag. Did I not? I thought I did. Oops skipped something i forgot a boolean uh flag that originally equal true now it's going to equal false if it contains our uh x and z so um there you go so it'll let it run then um so um I think that's all I'm going to do uh, for today. I know this is a, a lot of information. Oh yeah, I forgot. We want uh, this to, uh, the entire statement, just to get rid of the error, to return false. It's gonna return false anyway. Um, all right, now that is the last, oh wait. That is a semicolon. There you go, okay. That is the last thing that we are going to do uh, for today. I know this is a lot of information, so I just want you guys to, you know, get this information um, without, you know, overloading. I will obviously put the uh, source code onto GitHub. That link is in the description. So if you want to check it out and compare, um, just make sure you're doing everything right. You can check that out. Um, but otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped. If it did, be sure to hit that like button. Um, if you have any problems, please do email me. It is in the description. Uh, I, it's kind of hard to reply to comments because your questions and problems actually just get lost in the comments because I get a lot of comments, obviously. Um, so try to email me instead. I will definitely reply a lot faster if you do. So if you want a quicker reply, then... I would suggest emailing me. Uh, if it if you think it's like a, a simple problem, then you could put it in the comments uh, because there should be some people at least in the comments that could help you out. Um, so uh, yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.